Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble OPPO A55. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool. We insert it into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the backcourt to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back core. To detach the back core we use a thin plastic film. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and carefully run it along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Please note that we have the camera cover coming separately from the back cover, so the back cover will be additionally taped around the camera cover. Also, please notice that we have a fingerprint sensor or side buttons may be located on the side. So there may be cables under the cover as well. So we gently peel off the adhesive tape around the camera cover and we can open the back cover. As we can see on the back cover we have nothing on it. After that we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or Phillips hash tool. It is better to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order so that we don't confuse anything when reassembling. And of course, the screws from the upper and lower parts should be placed separately. As we see, we have one screw hidden by a warranty sticker. It means that nobody disassembled the phone before us. And when screw the last screws, and we can proceed to detach the middle cover. We also try to unclip a few clips with a thin plastic film and then we use a thicker tool. We pass the tool along the edge and clip the clips, thus detaching the middle cover. As always, we need to be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor so as not to damage anything. It is also necessary to be careful on the corners because the cover is held very firmly on the corners and of course we need to be careful with the display edge. So we carefully open the middle cover, we turn it over and we need to a non-metallic tool to disconnect the battery connector and disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. Actually, we can remove the middle cover on which the contact pads are represented. After that, we move on to detaching the speaker at the bottom. We carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the cover with a loudspeaker. After that, we can disconnect the interboard cable connector and the coaxial cable connector. We disconnect the connector and release the cable itself from the clip securing it to the subboard. Then we need to detach the subboard. We find the right place where we can hook, gently lift and remove the subboard. We do it carefully, we don't need to force it so that we don't accidentally damage anything. And on the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headset port and other elements on the back side. And our traditionally quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole we have has an L shape located in the display frame. The microphone body itself is located on the subboard on the back side of the microphone hole. Accordingly, if we insert something into the microphone hole, we will not be able to damage the microphone in this way. Also, pay attention that the microphone hole is protected by a mesh. It is protection against dust, but will not protect the phone from any liquids. If we damage the mesh, we will not damage the microphone hole, but water can. 
And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. So we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the interboard cable connector and display cable connector. Then we can detach the front camera. Carefully hold the edge, lift it up and we still need to peel off the copper protective heat dissipating foil. It is best to keep the protective foil and use it when reassembling. Then we can detach the rear cameras. We detach the large camera and detach the other cameras. It is better to hold the cameras by the base and it is important not to touch the lenses. After that we need to disconnect the coaxial cable connector, which we almost forgot, and release the cable itself. After that we need to remove one screw that secures the motherboard. For this we use a 1.5mm Philips screwdriver or Philips hash trio. And now we move on to detaching the motherboard. All the same, find the right place where we can gently pry, lift and remove the motherboard. Please note that there is thermal pest on the back side of the motherboard so the motherboard can be held in place by the thermal paste in this location. Also, please note that we have the motherboard taped to the side where the sensors are. We peel off the tape and remove the motherboard. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally for OPPO we have a green tab and a transparent cover that needs to be unfolded. And by the green tab we need to gently pull upward to detach the battery. So we gently pull the tab upwards, thus removing the battery. Under the battery there is a transparent protective coating that protects the interboard cables. And this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in our new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.